Hey guys, welcome to our video notes, Miller 7.4, addition and subtraction of radicals. So to simplify expressions, we combine like terms. So when dealing with radicals, there are such a thing as like radicals. By definition, they have the same index and radicand. So here are a couple examples of like radicals. Because it has a cube root of b and a cube root of b, these are like radicals. Square root of 6b, square root of 6b, like radicals. Fifth root of abc, fifth root of abc, these are like radicals. So in example one, it's pretty nice. We are adding or subtracting as indicated. And what's nice about all of these is they are already like radicals. So 6 square root of 11 plus 2 square root of 11 makes 8 square root of 11. Add your coefficients. Leave your radical the same as your term. 1 square root 3 plus 1 square root 3 is 2 square root 3s. Treat the radical as your variable. So let's see. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5. Minus 1 is 4 cube root of AB. Here we have 1 fourth x minus 3 halves x of the same radical. So I'm going to have 1 fourth x minus 3 half x multiplied by my radical. Now, in order to combine those fractions, they need to have common denominators. I'm going to multiply this one by 2. So this becomes 1 fourth x minus 6 fourth x square root of 3y. Well, 1 fourth minus 6 fourths is negative 5 fourths x square root of 3y. So remember, when you have like radicals, treat them as your variable and add or subtract their coefficients.